Down and Pull Remakes! Finally, they're gonna happen, even if they're not exactly, you know. Anyway, I, I still don't think they're the worst. Uh, hey guys, I'm uh, the Moose276 here. Wow, it's really weird hearing myself say that. It's been a really long time. Um, and, okay, it's actually been, like, a few weeks after, a few, what's it called, I don't know, like, two weeks or something like that, uh, since the remakes, and Legends, which looks amazing, Legends Arceus, I mean, uh, was announced, uh, I'm gonna be honest, uh, I was actually, as, as you can obviously see by the title, I'll show the customs in a second, um, what's it called? It's, it's been, a, it's, it, I actually started working on the customs I'm going to show it. It's when it kind of started, like, I mean, before it was going to be announced because I kind of figured it was going to, something was going to be shown about Down and Pearl or Sino, whatever. Um, but you know, I did work on it, uh, work on what I'm going to show you guys in a sec, um, before, but I kind of didn't get to finishing them until recently. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna show you guys that, and I'm sorry I'm kind of talking for so long, but yeah, um, okay, actually, sorry, one last thing I want to say, I don't know if I'm posting this on the 13th or the 12th, which, of March, which is, I'm recording this on the 12th, um, but the 13th of March is actually one year since, like, quarantine started, at least for my place and whatever, so that's actually kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna show the customs now. So yeah, so as you can probably tell by the title and whatever, look at these. Oh, they look so good. The starters. They actually look really cool next to the legendaries. And I'm okay. I'm gonna be uh, completely honest with you guys. I actually wanted to um make the legendaries also, uh Dialga and Palkia, Palkia and Dialga, which I guess is like the order I'm usually used to. Um. But I honestly, as you can see, they're like kind of like blue parts around here, you know, like, and like over here and stuff. I I was gonna start with uh, Dialga, so I didn't really feel like it at the at like right now. But you know, I still feel like I'm gonna do it. I still want to do it, but I'm not sure. Um, yes, these are the only things I've been able to pump out in the last <laughs> two months. Which actually, speaking of that, it's been two months since my last video. I'm pretty sure. If I'm if I'm gonna post this or uh, upload this on the thirteenth, I'm gonna be super stupid about this. And I have so my customs here are which I was gonna plan to do this in the beginning, but it's okay. Turdwig, Umchar, and Pooplup. Yeah, I just okay. Anyway, shut up. No, but for real. Okay, so what I did here is I basically so I actually realized that my previous like starter Pokemon customs. They were never really too much in scale with like um regular uh um like I don't know like people I guess like here let me show you guys Steve because I have him right here and also he was my la latest custom I'm still really proud of how he looks uh like let me show you guys so this is kind of what I did okay so I basically I basically uh wanted them kind of to be accurate to the game to an extent at least to scale you know like with each other at least you know. Because I've made customs in the past that, like, the, the, the poke like, not even only starters, like, the Pokemon just in general were never too much to scale. What I did here is I kind of, like, looked up the heights and stuff, and I kind of tried my best to scale it to a, a regular minifigure. Um, and <clears throat> so that's kind of why you see, like, uh, uh, Piplup and Turtwig kind of almost the same size, because I, I think they actually are. Uh, at least, you know, whatever, I mean, they they reach the same height, whether it, that leaf counts or whatever, but yeah. Excuse me. And actually, funny enough, uh, before I actually get into the actual, like, in-depth thing about it or whatever. Oh, my gosh. I actually still have... <laughs> so, actually, I forgot to mention. I actually did make uh, these a while back. Like, I guess the, the starters of Sinnoh. I just... Uh, I... Yeah, I still have all of the things for me. At least almost all of them. Actually, I kind of do. The Chinchar head is actually this one. I just uh, sculpted onto it and kind of adjusted it a little bit. And I'll, and Piplup's Pip pretty much the same. It's actually kind of funny how 
I actually, I, when I was painting only the head, uh, <laughs> what's it called? I actually had this one. I actually had that head off. I mean, I can take it off, take both of the heads off, but I don't really feel like it right now. It's actually kind of really cool to see the comparison of both of them. No, but yeah. Um, but yeah, and I don't know what happened to the thief thingy. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that. They look absolutely terrible, but I'm really happy that these turned out much better. Okay, so I'm gonna show these now. So, turret wig. So, okay, this was a little... So, actually, as much as this doesn't look that good, this is a lot more of an accurate color to the actual turret wig than this. It's just, the, the thing is, is that, um, I wanted to use this piece because it kind of gives the effect of, um, like, four individual, like, legs or limbs or whatever. Uh, and I don't really have that, a uh, color in, like, a uh, sand green. And I don't feel like, um, putting all purpose label paper all over it in order to just do that. Uh, which actually, ironically enough, I actually barely used, um, all purpose label paper in all, in all these combined. It's actually kind of crazy because I actually use them a lot. Most of these are actually consisted of uh, custom parts, or at least sculpted or glued on bootleg. That's why you guys see this. So no, it's not me not obeying by my <laughs> moral code of Lego customizing or whatever, where I don't um, actually like sculpt or glue or or paint directly onto the Lego. So yeah, these these are all bootleg pieces. Or well, okay, they're not bootleg. They're actually uh, connects slash Creo. Same thing with the uh, same thing with the Piplup. Uh, this is actually oh, this is actually the same head I used for Mario, um, and I don't think I showed my new Luigi. Yes, I have a new Luigi, and it's not the Luigi's Mansion video that I made in the remix video, which by the way I actually need to finish that, but I don't really know how to do that right now. But it's okay. Uh, anyway, so okay, so let me just talk <laughs> so basically i got like this little flower piece or whatever this is what i'm talking about like one of these pieces this is actually one of the newer pieces because i'm actually used to the like the older like the different types of uh building block brick whatever things like this they they actually it's so funny because they actually use the same piece for like multiple different um companies and then like i made their own it's like completely different which is kind of funny but, um, yeah, the pro- okay, so this is actually the problem that I had to deal with this. This actually had a hole, and when I was actually sculpting the head, because this is fully sculpted, I had to- the, some of the clay was going inside of the hole, so I kind of had to do something where, like, I had to put paper towels or whatever, this is what I kind of use for, I, I don't know, like, uh, putting my- cleaning my brush or whatever, brushes. Uh, so yeah, I had to do that, and then, uh, I got a- a stud, a, a studless stud, as I like to call them. And I put all the solo paper on, on it, and that's actually one of the few times I used it alongside with Piplup's head, and actually, I think that's actually all. Oh, that's actually crazy. Okay. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and then uh, I did that. The problem is, the reason, honestly, the reason why I put all these guys on the stand is because, um, let me put this down again. Uh, Turtwig can't stand on by himself. Actually, before I put, him, put his head back on. Uh... So this is the head. Um, I kind of indented uh, the. I can't really point to it, but basically you get the point. Um, I kind of uh, indented the little uh, cheeks or whatever they are, uh, and also the little front part of that. It looks kind of weird. <laughs> it looks like um, oh man, what's what's the friggin' Muppets name? <laughs> oh man, I forgot. I haven't watched Muppets in so long. It's it's the 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 the. The one with the big nose. I, for, oh, I forgot what his I forgot what his name was. But anyway. Uh so yeah, it kind of looks like that. <laughs> uh the tr the 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 leaf on the top, actually leaf was actually my um if you guys I don't know, I I don't it's something it's not on my channel anymore, but I I had a Pokemon Pearl let's play. I lost the, the game cartridge a long time ago. Oh, I am going to pick Trilling. <laughs> yes, he doesn't get enough love, guys. I am going to take him. <laughs> hmm. Starly. Whoa, wow, Starly. Go, Turtle. That's why I couldn't finish the Let's Play. <laughs>
And uh, uh, that was actually my uh, starter, Chartwig. And it still is. I just, if you guys actually remember, if you guys were here that long ago. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's what, um, I picked Turtwig and I call him Leave. So that's actually nice. Uh, and it's actually a stick. Uh, like, I don't know, like a cub. No, I, I don't remember exactly. Uh, it's either like a toothpick or just some kind of wooden skewer or something like that. I don't know. Or whatever it's called. And it's the same thing I kind of used for this one. It's just that uh, I just kind of thinned this one down. Like I kind of shaved down the sides of the wood. And it was just a completely different piece in general. I just don't know where that piece from this one is. Or I, I don't think it's this one. No, it's not. And then I used tin, I got tin foil. I put glue all around it uh, to kind of like make it more uh, hard, I guess. And then I glued it onto the sides and painted it all green. And it actually gives like a nice leaf effect. Like honestly, really, I think it really looks, came out nice. And then the eyes and stuff. And yeah. <laughs> Next is Chimchar. I'm actually really proud of the Chimchar. The one thing I'm not completely like satisfied with is um the the either the hands and the feet not having, you know, the the skin, I guess, tone to it. Or both, if that makes sense. I don't know. It's either the hands or the feet, or both of them then. Because, I don't know, it just looks a little off to me, because, I mean, but the thing is, is that, okay, this is the thing. In in Lego, the one by one cone and the studs, like, these are the ones with the hole in the middle, but still, they actually exist in Lego. So, see, see this piece, this is a Creo head, which is the same, oh, actually, I, I don't think I mentioned, I don't think I finished my statement uh, when I was talking about the Luigi thing. Uh, this is the same head I used for my Mario, which was kind of the point I was getting out of that. And uh, I kind of turned it backwards. But the thing is that, that to, to give it that little like flap effect, I guess, in the back. The reason why I added the the like extra things and the little uh, little um, feet or... Uh, wow, I forgot what it's called. Whatever. Flippers, I don't know. Uh, it's because this isn't a, like a legit Lego piece. If I use a Lego head, which I was actually maybe thinking about... Uh, then okay, maybe I wouldn't add all that, but I don't know. Also, I added the the wings. I added the the wings or whatever uh, last minute. Um, so yeah. Uh, also, I'm really sorry. It's not coming very clearly. Like at least it's a little unfocused. It's because my phone is really stupid. So please forgive me about that. <laughs> um, no, but yeah. Okay, so I so going back to Chimchar. Uh, I, this is the same head I used for the original one over here. Uh, it has like a little, the little, um, peg inside of it. It's just that I don't really want to take it out right now. Even if I can, I just don't really want to. And like I said, I glued the, the studs and whatever, blah, blah. And, uh, I actually got, okay. So what this piece is, is this piece, which, excuse me, which is like the mega constructs. Sorry, it wasn't connects. It was mega constructs. Uh, connects doesn't have all that. <laughs> All these crazy fancy pieces. Well, I, they do, but still. Uh, this is from the actually from the Pokemon thing, which I where is it? Uh, I got Charmeleon in it, I think. I don't know. It was I don't know. It was a while back, and don't tell anyone. It is. Um, it isn't bootleg technically, but shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this uh piece, and I actually did. The funny thing is, uh, actually in my original Chimchar, this one. Oh no, Uh, in this one. When I was making this one, I was actually I actually made an I actually made one before this one that I never like really showed. It had it, the head was actually made out of a cone, but the funniest uh, the funniest part is is that I was actually I actually wanted to put a cone somehow into like Piplup, I guess. The funny thing is that this isn't even Lego, but I guess it co comes off the same idea. Uh but yeah, I guess this is the way it did. And yeah, I don't know, it just gives a weird uh look to it without the hands, but I'm still really proud of it. And the head looks really good. I think it came out amazing. Uh, I actually carved in the uh, uh, the ears. And I think they look really nice and stuff. And yeah, I think the eyes came out really nicely. They actually I, they actually look better in real life. It's the, again, it's really blurry and stuff. And I don't think you guys can see it. But at least not very good. They're actually little things on... Like, I don't know if they're like eyebrows or like... I don't know, whatever, on top of whatever that is. Uh, but I don't know. He has that in the actual picture and concept art and whatever. And the nose and stuff, which uh, I actually... Oh, I actually forgot to mention. I actually carved in the little nose holes or whatever. Nostr 
Oh my gosh. Nostrils. Come on. Think. <laughs> uh, in the uh, tier wing, but it's just, again really hard to see. And yeah. Okay. So Piplup, last but not least, um, is okay. So this is like, again, the head. And the reason why this uh, is falling off so bad so much um, is because uh, this was originally really hard to. Uh, this was the hole was too small to fit into the stud. Um, so I carved it out a little bit, and but the problem now is that I carved it too much, and now it doesn't even like stay. At least not very good. No, oh, now you're yeah okay. See, it doesn't really stay very good. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I painted all that the details, and I actually really like the. So I actually changed the color instead of like the the regular blue I used to use. I again, if you guys saw my last video, I got a bunch of friggin' blues to try to match the Lego blue, but it's like, ugh, it's still tough, but it's okay. <laughs> so one of the blues I used, uh, I did this, and it looks a little weird, but it does follow the same design again because it's mostly blurry, uh, because my phone sucks but it's okay <laughs> i use the flippers and the little thing so yeah that's what i'm so i did that and like the little i don't know little cape thing or whatever and yeah and then the the feet and i gave a little line over there to indicate that there's two of them and stuff and yeah i gave the head the head is like the little dome pieces with the the studs in them here now I, I think you guys get the point but and then i gave the fin and i, I meant fin Fin this is the fins. I'm an idiot. Gosh. <laughs> uh the beak. And then you can't I don't think you guys can see it, but there's a little line indicating, you know, that there's a top and bottom one. And then I painted the head. Oh yeah, and all Priscilla paper, and this is the only other time I guess I used it, which is kind of crazy since you know I use them a lot. And the eyes and stuff, and the and yeah. And, and I think and that's the cell starters, and I think they came out really nicely. So yeah. Uh, another, wow, this is almost 20 minutes. That's actually crazy for just these three little guys. Um, but, and, d and surprise, surprise, it's going to get a little longer. <laughs> um, no, but, uh, I want to talk a few other things. Um, so I kind of wrote a few things down, uh, while I wanted to make this video. I kind of, um, toned down on the editing, at least, you know, I hope so. <laughs> Because I'm this is before I'm recording this before editing. It's kind of a one shot thing so far. Um and uh yeah, so I'm I kinda wanna tone down the editing because I kind of legit cringed a little bit at myself in the last video with how much editing there was. It's kinda a little unnecessary. So I'm gonna tone down on that a little bit. Um another thing I wanna ask you guys actually, please uh if you guys can actually give me some suggestions. Uh, whether it be, I don't know, customs you guys want me to make that, you know, I'd be okay with making or tips and stuff or, you know, I don't know, just like, um, I don't know, just like all the all, advice, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'd really seriously appreciate that. Or, you know, like tell me, hey, like you're not like, like for example, I guess constructive criticism, like uh, maybe I'm not doing something in the best of my advantage because I just really honestly want to improve my customs, I guess. Uh, I, th I think I really am, if I'm going to be honest, I do, uh, but, you know, I mean, there's always room to get better, and I really, uh, I really want to hear you guys' feedback, I'd really seriously appreciate that, um, so yeah, please, if you guys can, please leave that down in the comments, I'd be happy to hear you guys out, uh, so, I, I guess last thing, I guess, uh, if I don't randomly pop up something in my head like I always do, <laughs> I have a few other things planned, I guess I don't, I don't, I never, I didn't exactly start on them. And one thing I did plan out, uh, but this actually, this, this video, I guess project, whatever happening before that, uh, it's not like that crazy of a thing. It's just like, you know, I just, I, I want, I didn't get to do it. It's like, it's, it's not like a big thing. It's just like a kind of side thing. Oh, I want to do this custom. It's not like a crazy big event custom or whatever. Like, I guess kind of like these kind of, where you know, it's in a remix and stuff. Um, but yeah, I have a few things planned, uh, not, it, and, and uh, the other thing I ca I guess I have planned, if I end up getting to that, because I'm actually sure if I'm going to get that, let's get to that, isn't it exactly like video game related, which I'm trying to not do too much, um, at least I kind of want to try to go to, in that direction, where I don't only do video games, which I really do love them, uh, 
I guess only video games. I say that like you know I pretty much only do Nintendo, which they lunch with some PDZ, which I really want to start getting, which I really want to get back into because they're actually really fun to make. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, again, please uh, leave down, drop down suggestions and stuff. And I seriously hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and yeah, uh, absolute last thing, I guess. <laughs> uh, my solitude is going okay, you know. I've been learning a lot of things, and I'm really, you know, it's really, really tough. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be legit with you guys. It's really depressing, but you know, it's things I have to go through in order to get better. But yeah, uh, yeah, that's really that, I guess. And you know. Things are going well, you know, they're getting better. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.